So you're arriving at YYZ Toronto Pearson International Airport and you got your luggage and now you're wondering what is the best way to get to your next destination. So in this video today, let's talk about all of your transportation options at the airport. If you don't happen to have your own car parked waiting for you or even better have someone picking you up from the airport. So what's the best way, the cheapest way, the most convenient way? Well, it really depends on what you need and what your priorities are. But let's talk about your options now. And by the way, guys, in this video, I'll mainly talk about Terminal 1. So just in case you're arriving at Terminal 3 at the airport, you can simply take the Terminal Link train from Terminal 3 to Terminal 1. Now, let's start with the first and classic option, which is to simply take a cab. And for that, you simply go to Arrivals and go to Door D, where you can find taxis and even limos. But just to note here, make sure that you get a licensed cab so you don't get ripped off and overpay. Just to give you a rough idea, of how much you can expect to pay for a cab let's look at this tariff map together and you can access this at the Toronto Pearson website when you look at this map here you'll find that if you take a cab you can expect to pay anything between 30 to 100 plus dollars depending on your destination so for example if you were to take a cab from Toronto Pearson Airport to downtown area it would cost you roughly 61 65 dollars but on top of that don't forget you will also need to pay a tip so you can expect expect to pay around 70 80 dollars well the great thing about taking a cab is that it's hassle free especially if you're traveling with your family and you'll have usually have enough space for your luggage and it's also very easy to pay you can simply use your credit card and pay in the cab but i must say it is not that cheap it can get quite pricey personally i would prefer to use an uber or a lyft and that's something i'll talk about later in the video and one of the reasons is simply because uh, just by using the app I can have a very good idea up front how much I will need to pay and I can even compare fares between Uber and Lyft and choose the one which is cheaper so if you don't want to spend a ton of money on a cab if you do not really need that then let's look at the next option now which is to take the UP Express if it's just you traveling alone if you don't have a lot of stuff with you then it can be a really good idea to use the UP Express because not only is it cheap it's very budget friendly but it's also fast the downside of course is that up express unlike a cab will not take you to your final destination so even though it takes you to union station for example you will still need to connect uh, using a bus or take an uber or a lyft and to give you an idea about up express's route let's look at this map here so up express from pearson goes to weston to blur and also to union station so anyway, if you are planning to take the UP Express, it is pretty simple. If you're arriving at Terminal 1, simply look for the UP Express service counter, which is next to the International Arrivals Hall where you'll be arriving. And that is also where you can buy your ticket. But that's not the only way. You can also buy your ticket from a fare vending machine at the airport, or you can even buy it online if you have enough time in advance to do it. But if it's your first time here, I would strongly recommend to you to simply go to the counter because you'll also be able to ask questions now next you might be wondering how much it exactly costs to use the UP Express and again let's take the example of uh, going from Pearson to Union Station and here you can see on upexpress.com that the one-way fare for an adult is $12.35 as at making of this video and if you're a senior above the age of 65 you will only pay $6.20 and there is even a family fair so I haven't looked into this but here it says that up to two adults and up to three guests of 19 years of age and under will only pay $25.70 and this is a really really good deal and do you know what's even better if you have the presto card and okay presto card is a mode of payment it's a card that you can use for public transportation in Toronto something I'll talk about in a bit so anyway if you have this presto card if you use your presto to pay for transportation transportation you will pay even less so let's look at this next page here which lists the presto fare if you use presto as an adult you will only pay nine dollars and 25 cents and if you're a senior only five dollars and 80 cents so it is really really affordable by the way guys if you found this video useful so far then it would mean a lot to me if you would hit the like button because that would let me know that this video was useful to you i'll make more videos like this and it will also help me to get this video out to more people thank you so much now let's get to the next mode of transportation if you want even more freedom and flexibility 
availability then you can even rent a car at the airport and it's pretty simple to do so there are a lot of options there is avis budget dollar thrifty and many more so if your destination is further away and if you have a lot of stuff there are several of you then it could be a really good idea to rent the vehicle of your choice which has the exact capacity for your luggage and for the number of passengers that you have and simply do that but remember of course especially if you're not from canada that you will need to have a valid driver's license so where can you pick up your car and this is especially important for people not arriving at terminal one so the latest update as per this website is that all terminal car rentals have been moved to terminal one so you will need to go to terminal one now your next question might be so how much will this cost me how much does it cost approximately to rent a car so let's check that out right now i'll enter yyz airport here so let's say that you're picking up your car on october 12 at 11 a.m and you're planning to return it to bay street the following day on the 13th at 10 a.m in the morning let's go to vehicle type select small to full size let's just say that you live in the states and go to select my car so here you can see that for example for a mitsubishi mirage or a similar kind of car for four passengers automatic transmission it would cost you 85 dollars and 50 cents but keep in mind that this does not include refilling your gas tank so guys interestingly just now i selected the us as country of residence but if i choose canada instead and go to select my car then it's more expensive so in case anyone knows why this is please do let me know in the comments below so renting a car is indeed pricier but it does offer you more flexibility because you can stop here and there on the way perhaps you want to pick something up from the groceries for first or drop a passenger off or whatever driving your own car will also bring you straight to your doorstep and that makes it very hassle free but if you ask me my personal favorite is to simply use ride sharing services because it's so easy and convenient after a long trip you might be tired and you don't want to go through the steps of having to rent a car and looking for the car picking it up and then driving it back again if you use ride sharing services like Lyft and Uber you simply wait at the curb and wait for someone to pick you up so let's talk about that now using a Lyft or an Uber to get out of the airport and one of your questions might be yeah I would really love to use ride sharing services but isn't it kind of complicated and maybe even difficult to find your Uber driver in the sea of so many passengers arriving at the airport and actually the answer is no I recently took a lift from the airport when I arrived from an international flight and it was super easy and in total the process only took me around five minutes so let's talk about that now taking an uber or a lift might not be as cheap as a UP Express but it's definitely cheaper than renting a car and I would guess even cheaper than taking a conventional cab so now your question might be okay so how much does it roughly cost to take an uber or a lift from the airport and for equal comparison let's just take union station as an example and for that let's use the uber yeah. price estimator and you can simply find this page by inputting uber price estimator into google so let's do that now so i input yeah. toronto pearson international airport going to union station and here you can see that you will pay anything from 40 dollars up to 120 dollars and above depending on the type of vehicle you choose and keep in mind that you have to take into consideration the number of passengers passengers the amount of luggage you have so everything will actually fit into the uber and also remember that this does not include tips and taxes yet so let's just say that your base fare is fifty dollars so if on top of that you add a 25 percent uh, combination of tax and tips of course depending on how much you want to give then you'll end up with around sixty two dollars and fifty cents so let's say that there are three or four of you in that case taking an uber might be really worth it compared to the up express which would cost Cost you around twelve dollars and on top of that you will still need to connect to your final destination so using an uber you can get there immediately and another tip i have for you between choosing an uber or a lyft actually it's pretty much the same what you can do if you really want to get the best deal you can simply go to the uber price estimator i just showed you and also the lyft price estimator and just get a rough comparison of how much you would pay on each platform but if you want to have even greater accuracy then download both of the apps and in real time input your uh, your destination your trip and compare the two fares and simply pick the one that works better 
So now how to find your driver is a big question and it's really, really simple. First of all, my first tip is that book your Uber or your Lyft when you're all set. So don't book it when you're still uh, looking for your luggage because the Uber or the Lyft will usually arrive pretty fast. So book it when you have all, all your luggage, when you're at the arrival, at, at the ground level of the airport and you're ready to go. Then book your Uber or your Lyft and usually it will arrive in a matter of three to five minutes. And the great thing is that in the app, at least that's my experience using Lyft, you have the option to choose exactly the exact pinpoint where you want to be picked up. And there are several pickup points that you can select on the app denoted by letters such as P, Q, R and S, I think. So the driver knows exactly where to pick you up and you know exactly where to wait. So as soon as you've booked your Uber or your Lyft, head directly to that pinpoint. And also very important because there are so many vehicles at the same time at the airport, you have to really look out for the Uber license plate. So wait at the pinpoint and look at the Uber cars approaching and really look at the driver's license plate to not miss your Uber. You know, because sometimes cars get blocked and your Uber driver is actually already there, but you just can't find them. So you just need to look out a bit and then you'll be fine. But guys, if you still think that paying this $50, $60 is still too pricey for you and you want another option, that is when we'll talk about public transportation now. And public transportation, in case you're not familiar with that in Toronto yet, is a really good way to get around the city. And I mean, of course, there are downsides. Downsides about I don't want to talk about in today's video because that's not the topic of this video. But in general, I would say that the Toronto public transportation system network is very well connected. It is not that cheap. I mean, there are other countries where public transportation is cheaper, but it is still very affordable. And out of all the options uh, I've talked about today, it is definitely the cheapest, most budget friendly option. So let's talk about that now. So at the airport, you will have access to several transit systems, including the TTC for Toronto, Go Transit, which covers a larger area, My Way uh, for Mississauga, and also Brampton Transit transit and don't get confused here the only difference between these transits is the region the area that they cover in the greater Toronto area and just in case it's your first time arriving here in Canada or you've been living here but simply have never used public transportation from the airport before don't get confused it's very very simple and I'm going to show you how now so on this website here Toronto Pearson if you scroll down further you will see a trip links trip planner and here here, simply input uh, the place you're departing from, Toronto Pearson International Airport Terminal 1. And again, for comparison purposes, let's just use Union Station again. And the TripLinks Planner will give you your options. And let's just take the top one here because this one is the fastest. It takes you about an hour. And surprisingly, it only costs you about $3 plus, including all the transit that you need to do, which is really cheap. So guys, now perhaps you're asking, okay, this sounds all great. I have an hour to spare, but what about the ticket? Where can I buy a ticket? Is it complicated? And the answer is no, it's really very easy. Usually you can just pay on board using coins, but your problem might be that if it's your first time arriving here or in general, you might not always have coins coins on hand and it can be pretty inconvenient paying on the bus. So what you can do is simply buy your ticket from a fair vending machine and you can find this fair vending machine at the airport. You can simply buy a ticket from the machine and you can pay using credit card a debit card. But guys, if you've been living in Canada for a while, then there's an even easier way to get around using public transportation. And that is to simply use your Presto card. So this Presto card is a card that enables you you to use the public transportation system in Toronto. You can load money on it. You can load your monthly pass onto it. So if you're living in Toronto anyway, or you're planning to spend some time in Toronto, I think it's really a good idea. It's really worth it to get this Presto card. And again, you can also get this Presto card from the fair vending machine at the airport. I'm not going to go into details in this video because I've already made a separate video on how you can do that step by step. And for that, you can access the video that I link up here. So now you might think, okay, I'm willing to 
take the bus, but what about my luggage? Will my luggage fit into the bus? And the answer is yes. Fortunately, the buses, for example, the bus 900 that goes from the airport to Kipling Station has a separate, a specific section in the middle area of the bus, so the back entrance of the bus where you can actually store larger items, larger luggage. And if you take a GO bus, they will also help you to store your luggage in the uh, compartment underneath the bus. So taking public transportation from the airport is a really good idea if you have a bit more time to spare and if you want to save yourself a lot of money. Like just now I explained it costs about three dollars for a ride from the airport and if you're a family of four that means that it will cost you around twelve dollars whereas if you take the UP Express it will cost you around twelve dollars plus for just one person but of course it is not as convenient you will need to carry your luggage around you will need to store it get it down and there are more people on the bus so what if you're arriving in Toronto for the first time then I would say that maybe taking public transportation and taking the bus is not that convenient because everything is new to you everything is overwhelming so it might be easier to just take a taxi or an uber but if you've been living here in Canada in Toronto for a while and you're just coming back from a vacation then I would say it's a really good idea to have try public transportation at least once so you know what your options are. And by the way guys, if this is your first time arriving here in Canada and you're wondering what the arrival process will look like at immigrations, customs, etc., then I happen to have another video I made just recently about arriving at an airport in Canada with the example of Yule Montreal Trudeau International Airport. But I think it will be somewhat similar to the arrival process here in Toronto. So if you're arriving here soon, then you might want to check that out for some really great tips to make your arrival as smooth as possible. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you again next time.